Hello, Ryan here, AK Mac, and welcome. So recently, we had the subscriber town hall with the visual effects guys. We had two members of the visual effects team. Currently, they have about six members uh, working in the visual effects team throughout all the studios, each doing their own thing. So you've got some of them working on ships, some on weapons, some on planets and environments. Uh, they do help out in other areas, but they specialize in their own sections. So the first question regarding weapons is to do with weapon impact effects and now currently every weapon only has the one effect but they will be adding more for 3.0 so like uh, ice impacts, rock impacts and metal. They will all be different but there's not going to be everything in 3.0, there will be more versions of them coming later. You can see from this example the Gatling gun is the center uh, impact and then the lasers are the side weapons, that's the side impacts. They look very cool and I can just imagine being fired upon planet side. Uh, but he does want some randomness in the weapon impacts. They're not all going to be the same impact as we see here. So the next question is to do more with, uh, will we see some more dynamic variety in weapon manufacturers from their weapons? So like tracers for ballistics and, you know, the things like red, blue and green lasers. Will we be seeing more weapon effects other than these normal straight beams? And they say that all lasers will have the same colour. Um, so each neutron weapon will, will have the same colour and then each laser will have, have the same uh, colour. But also each manufacturer will have a distinguishable effect. So we'll be able to tell a weapon apart from a distance. So the last question for weapons is to do with personal arm impacts. And they said that we can expect to see cracks uh, in the visors. You should expect that. But some impacts like bullet holes or burn marks, these wouldn't really look right if you were to place a decal over them, especially over a complicated area where like a holster, for example, it will just be on the top. They said they may look into other ways to represent this, so time will tell, I guess. Anyway, moving on to ships. The, we got to see the interior of the Caterpillar for this example. But each manufacturer has a different style of visual effects. Um, and for example, the, the Drake or the Caterpillar, the Drake Caterpillar is a low-tech style ship. So you'll see smokes and you'll see sparks. Now the Jeanne would use more of a different blue style explosion as they are classed more as high-tech. It kind of breaks them down a bit. But do expect to see sparks and gases and smoke and so forth appearing from logical locations. So, you know, you'll see smoke and gas coming from pipes rather than just randomly out of a staircase. We also got to see the uh, thrusters for the back of the, the uh, Caterpillar, which are very similar to the Cutlass ones. Now, the final question for ships is, is there any plans for shield effects rework? And yes, currently the shields are not done by the visual effects team. Uh, they, they've created a new system for shields, which will take your current ship uh, shape and create the shield around that. So, for example, if a, if a wing gets blown off currently, you'll have this weird ghosting effect, which will look like the wing's still there, whereas it should adjust to the shape naturally as your shape changes. Uh, the new system as well is the same system they will use to allow for unique atmospheric entry effects for all the ships, rather than a universal effect for, say, small, medium or large ships. So each ship will have a more fitting and realistic effect, which is pretty cool. Anyway, the final section is to do with environments. And we the first question was, we recently saw footsteps uh, being left on planets. Will there be other traces or clues of people having visited that area? And yes, they said they want to have things like maybe if a big ship lands, it should leave an imprint of its presence. Also the same as if you're just crawling around on the ground, you should leave a print there. The tech is there to make it possible, but it, would, it just requires a little bit more work. They need to see how expensive it is for the memory. So, for example, if you have one or two decals on a weapon, then that's all well and good. But when you, when every weapon in the game has one or two decals, then the numbers toll up and the memory gets more expensive. So, a follow-up question to that one is, how long will footsteps persist on a planet? And I've wondered this myself. We've discussed it before. Currently, spawning footprints is a particle system, uh, which they can persist for quite a long time, but not as long as they want. The new decal system which will replace this particle system, is not ready yet, but will be much better at handling things like footprints and bullet holes, allowing them to persist f and last much longer. So, so that's cool. Uh, anyway, the next question is, will when we fly through clouds, will it create this sort of swirling effect that we see in real life? And they say they want this ability, they want to have this, but we'll have to see what the future brings. Will we see a sonic boom effect is the next question. And again, they want this to happen. It's quite complicated to make it look good, but they are looking into it now. They've got the tech to improve the atmospheric flight, so we'll see. But they did say that sonic booms in Star Citizen will likely be physically correct for when a, a ship reaches that Mach 1 speed. Anyway, so a uh, couple of other notes. Uh, in the atmosphere and out of atmosphere will have different effects. Engine trails, for example, will fade out as you leave atmosphere and then change into something different. But also things like density and humidity 
will affect the effects uh, in the future and they want things to react to, uh, differently in each different atmosphere for every planet because every, every planet will have a different atmosphere so that's kind of cool uh, it's kind of stuff we already knew but they are covering it in finer detail and it's the small things that really make the biggest differences anyway that was the visual effects town hall let me know your thoughts guys don't forget we're giving away a star citizen starter package throughout the month of august so be sure to follow me here on uh, youtube and just comment on any video throughout of august uh, to stand a chance of winning courtesy of my patrons who pledge money to me every month helping me to create these videos thank you for watching follow me on twitch twitter and instagram and i shall see you next time